I cannot believe how many 21 and 22 model years that we have traded in the past 18 months. It's crazy. They're running into a fast talking salesperson at a show or something like that, buying this thing, and it doesn't fit their needs. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and we are at the 2021 Hershey RV Show. Now, we've talked about this on many different videos. This is a crazy time in the RV industry. We have never seen a show this busy. So many people buying units, so many units that are sold out. We are here to help you out. We have with us again today, Jim, the RV concierge. He's been doing this a long time. Nine years almost, yeah. And why we like Jim is that not only is he a salesman, he's a concierge and he's an RVer. So he's here to answer all the questions and to guide you in the right way so you can make the right decision when you're buying an RV. Right, so it, it starts with the dealership. You're gonna get there somehow. Is it a referral? Is it an online review? Is it somebody's website? A camper? That's very important. And then when you get there, you're gonna look around. Does the place look clean? Is it organized? Did somebody greet you right away? Are they gonna interview you before they start showing you RVs? These are a lot of things that you need to check into before you get to the dealership. I like that you mentioned interview, right? Mm -hmm. So let's, let's walk a little, let's talk sure. about that. So now, when you get somebody that's potentially a new customer, right. right? what do you mean by an interview? Why are you interviewing them? So man, anybody can let you just walk through right. RVs. There's a local dealership near us, everything's unlocked and they're just walking through everything. Nobody's asking them what their needs are. Are they gonna stay put, be it seasonal? Are they gonna travel? I mean, there's so many things you can use an RV for. Some people live full time. So it's very important that you get an interview. I, I don't really like it calling it an interview because I try to make everybody my friend. I want right. to know what my friend's needs are before I try and find them an RV. Yeah, and I think that's really important. So like, for example, when we bought our first RV, we went in very green. We didn't have a concierge, right? We went you, to kind of one of those places that you just, everything was unlocked, yeah, right? Yeah. Fortunately, we didn't have problems with it, but what we did, we, we bought an RV with bunks mm -hmm. and we wound up never using the bunks. Right. And this is really important. RVs are getting so expensive now and there's such a shortage of them. You don't want to go buy a floor plan that doesn't fit you. And right. then three months down the line, happening you're a losing a lot of money and you're getting something else. Like, I mean, that helps salespeople, that's right? It's happening a lot, correct. So I cannot believe how many 21 and 22 model years that we have traded in the past 18 months. It's crazy. They're running into a fast talking salesperson at a show or something like that, buying this thing and it doesn't fit their needs. So that interview or that, you know, finding out what your needs is, very important. All right, so service, that's an important topic. 100%. So it's not just the sales side, it's the service side. Your RV is gonna break, am I right? We've said this on, I don't even know how many videos, and now you have it coming from a sales guy. Yeah. Listen, I have, it's two gonna break. I have two RVs right now, a B-Van and a trailer, and they both break. Absolutely. So both 2021s, they break. So it's very important to make sure that you're checking out the dealership that you're gonna buy from, Hopefully it's a local dealer because it's nothing worse than not being able to find a dealership to do some repairs. So it's very important. Another recommendation that I'd like to make, take a tech training course. I did. Even if you never intend on fixing an item on your RV, this is gonna be important because it helps you understand how RV systems operate. Owning an RV, you're gonna need to know all that stuff. Well, a couple of things I, I wanna touch on that. So mm -hmm. we just had a recall on Numar for a window. I, I called Numar up. There's no dealerships by us. Right. So I'm gonna have to take it to a local place to check for that, a local RV shop to check for that. There's no service centers, authorized new more service centers. The other thing that I think is pretty impressive is that you took the time to take an RV tech course. That's certified. We have been, and this is not, nothing to do with Jim. Mm -hmm. We have been to many shows, many dealerships. You talk to an RV salesman and a lot of them, they just, they don't even know what they're trying to sell you. They don't know, they don't own RVs. They don't know anything about RVs. So it's true. you want to look for somebody that knows what they're talking about, that's living their lifestyle, because that person is going to be better suited to get you in the right RV. Absolutely. So if you notice behind us, we have a beautiful Allegro bus, right? This is like 500, north of 500,000, way above. Nice bus. But I mean, this is easy to sell, right? Absolutely I mean, easy to sell. Anybody can sell one of these based on training. Not everybody is qualified to work on them. So that's important to make sure that your service center qualified to work on the items that they sell. And now how can you, how can a new consumer, how do you go about finding this out? You can ask the manufacturer, is no. this dealership qualified? But they're gonna have certifications on their wall and they should, they should brag. That's they so, should so if brag. I go to a dealership yeah. and I ask, I wanna see the certifications and they're like, oh no, everybody's certified. Yeah. Is that kind of a red 
flag. It kind of is. I mean, they're going to give you certification placards to put up. They're going to give you awards. You'll have like trophies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, those, those are those are bragging rights. Yep. I, I would think a service center would want to show that off. Absolutely. Good tip. Yeah. So one of the most important aspects of buying an RV is the salesperson. And I'm not saying that because I'm a salesperson. I am much, much more than that. I am an RV concierge. So I'm going to make recommendations based on my experience. I'm gonna to listen to you before I guide you. There's gonna be a lot involved with this. Now, your experience, how many RVs have you sold? Probably close to a thousand now okay. in the last eight plus years. How many have you owned? That's a lot. I've owned seven yeah, and in the past four years. <laughs> if you follow him on social media, you'll, yeah. you'll post from where you're at. Oh yeah, like, yeah not... I've done campground reviews yeah. and, and everything, yeah. So Absolutely. tell us a little bit more about your RV concierge service. All right, so as an RV concierge, I'm gonna stay with you from the beginning until the end. And we all know that the RV lifestyle is not en is endless, correct? It is endless, for <laughs> sure. There's endless things that always come up. <laughs> right, right. So, so what I offer is I'm gonna find you the right RV. I'll do a video of that RV for you personally. I can even do an inspection of that RV. I can help you with your deal and deliver it to you as well as do a walkthrough. And now after the purchase, do you offer support also for your customers? Always, everybody gets my mobile number and man, I can remember times sitting on the couch, watching a baseball game, drinking a beer, 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, having a customer call me with an issue and I'm gonna answer that phone and I'm gonna walk you through that issue. I had a guy that had no AC, 90 degree weather, 100% humidity, we got them fixed. And now as an RV tech, you know these simple things. So we've said this many times in other videos we've talked about, you know, how, why you should be looking for certain RV dealerships, RV salespeople. It's so important to have that support. We always say, when you go to these shows, you go to a, a dealership, do the research prior, like make, become an expert and then start right. throwing some questions out to the salesperson. They're feeding you a bunch of stuff that you know is not true. Correct. You might want to go to another salesperson. You might want to go see somebody like Jim. Right. Now, Jim, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? So all my social media is going to be at RV Concierge. I have my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll be starting a website shortly, and uh, that'll be all be released on my social media. Yeah, it, listen, we, we've seen a lot of salespeople. We've been to a lot of these shows. Jim, we found him. I remember telling MJ the first time I saw one of your videos. I'm like, this guy knows what he's talking about. I want to reach out to him so we can do a video. And we did a video together. We did. We'll yeah. link it above. There's very few out there like Jim. And we're not saying, we're not paid to talk about this. No, not at all. We reached out to him because we think he's doing something good for the RV community. So Jim, I thank you. Thank you for the time, for taking the time with us and for doing what you're doing for the customer, advocating for the customer, all right? All right. Anything else before we go? That's it, guys. All Thanks right. for watching. Cool, so myself, MJ, and Jim, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.